Hey, this is a quick one for you. Looks like uh, Onshape updated and they now have external threads here. So let's see what it does. I have here uh, the nut and bolt that I made previously for custom threads for 3D printing. This time though, let's see what uh, Onshape's new feature does. So I'm going to roll this back to before I made threads. So I have a blank here. Let's double check my diameter I have. I have a 0.5 diameter. So if I now go to external threads, I'm gonna stick with ANSI, half inch. Let's go 20. Look, we have our different threads per inch here. And it looks like we can do a length of threads. A chamfer at the end, undercut, fun, fun. I'll do up to next. So it does the full length and then cylinder edge. Not sure if I gotta choose top or bottom. Let's choose the top and it's going down. I hit the green check mark and look at that. Uh, it looks like it didn't do much, right? But I believe what's happening here is the same thing that happens in uh, the hole when we threaded a hole, that you will see it more when you're actually in a drawing document. So here's our threads there, there's our inner and outer diameter, and it's just in a drawing. It's not gonna physically show it to you in the part studio or an assembly, uh, just like when you insert standard parts, it won't have threads on it either, but it is there when you go into a drawing. So there's our new update. Uh, should be aware though, it is only for external threads. I tried it on the nut here and it does not work. You just get an error, All right? Check mark. External thread did not regenerate, no convex surface. So it needs to be a uh, external cylinder on a bolt, not a nut. All right. But again, if you want to do custom threads for 3D printing, things like that, uh, video link is in the description. But here now, Onshape has added external threads uh, to, us, to its features. Good luck, have fun.